Whenever we imagine a deadly man-eating shark, chances are we all think of the Great White. It's big, intimidating, and is of course a horror movie star. But believe it or not, it isn't actually responsible for the most shark attacks. Now you might be thinking, ah, oh, well, then it has to be the bull shark. Nope. Tiger shark? Nada. It's actually a species that not many people have ever heard of. And you're not gonna believe how many people it's killed. But where do these other sharks rank on the list, and why do they attack in the first place? Well, that is what we're answering today, as we're going ahead and figuring out what species of shark has actually killed the most people. To get this data, I'm using the International Shark File, available through the Florida Museum of Natural History. This database has cataloged shark attacks since the early 1500s, and is the best resource to determine what exactly is the deadliest shark. The four species highlighted in this video are by far and wide responsible for more deaths than any other. But just for the heck of it, what's the fifth deadliest shark? The mako? The hammerhead? Believe it or not, it's actually the blue shark, responsible for only four deaths. It's well known that sharks very rarely kill people, and it's important to keep in mind that the death counts in this video are recorded across all time, and you rarely have anything to worry about when you're in the ocean. However, incidents do still occur, and we're here to find out which sharks are the most deadly. The shark responsible for the fourth most attacks is widely hyped up to be the big daddy of deadly sharks in the world. And although it's definitely an animal to be wary of, it's outgunned by our top three. The fourth deadliest shark in the world is the bull shark. Just like your average beachgoer, these guys are chunky, easily aggravated, and prefer warm, shallow water. Meaning that these two often come into contact, and let's just say Uncle Bobby dual-wielding his brewskis doesn't usually come out on top. In fact, these sharks live in closer contact to people than any other species because of their famous ability to live in fresh water. Meaning you can be attacked at your next river float trip or Stacy's beach party all by the same species of shark. Although the bull shark is only number four on the list, it's responsible for a series of New Jersey shark attacks in 1916 that resulted in four deaths over a 12-day period. The horrific event that inspired the movie Jaws. That's right, it was actually a bull shark and not a great white that gave rise to the most iconic shark film of all time. Bull sharks are on average less than 10 feet and weigh only 300 pounds, which isn't very big at all when compared to white sharks and tigers but it's plenty big enough when you're going against a human. Over the course of history, bull sharks have been responsible for 121 attacks with 26 deaths. Although there's a little bit of controversy in these numbers. Bull sharks are some of the most likely sharks to attack people because of their closer proximity to us than any other species. So there's a good chance that many unassigned attacks were caused by bull sharks, which would make their true attack count even larger. A big reason as to why bull sharks are responsible for so many attacks is that their testosterone levels are higher than any other animal, making them much more aggressive and likely to give you a territorial nip than other species. The thought of a raging TRT-fueled gym bro in a shark's body is pretty terrifying and definitely explains their high attack count. But our next three species beat them on the official numbers. The third deadliest shark species may not be as aggressive as the bull shark, and is more likely to behave curious and unaggressive around humans. But when curiosity involves a test bite, and when your test bite involves saw-shaped teeth strong enough to cut through the shells of sea turtles, it can often involve you being heavily screwed. I'm of course talking about the tiger shark. A shark which is perhaps best known for being the species responsible for the attack on Bethany Hamilton, which inspired the movie Soul Surfer. That and, you know, Kenny the Shark. This shark gets its name from the stripes it possesses as a juvenile, which gradually fade as it becomes older. And its most iconic trait are those terrifying sideways pointing teeth, which pretty much work as a bone saw, enabling the tiger shark to cut through and eat even the toughest prey. These sharks are massive predators, topping out at 18 feet, which enables them to tackle large prey like dugongs, dolphins, and even other sharks. But they're also comfortable eating whatever prey crosses their path, since they have the most varied diet of any shark species, which unfortunately includes the occasional human. 
The Tiger Shark is responsible for 36 deaths out of a total of 138 attacks, which is the highest ratio of deaths to attack out of any of the big three. Despite this high number, the Tiger Shark isn't the number one killer for one main reason. It's nocturnal. During the day, tiger sharks tend to be out in deeper water, away from potential victims, but at night is when they swim closer to shore to hunt. Although shallow attacks during the day do still occur, they're much less than they would be if everyone just collectively sided to start swimming at night. However, the second most deadly shark in the world is very much a daylight predator, which is why it has over twice as many attacks on humans than the tiger. The Great White is the most well-known shark for a reason. They're massive, with adult females on average getting to 16 feet and even surpassing 20. They're incredibly powerful predators, being able to launch their entire body out of the water in pursuit of seals. And they're extremely widespread, found all throughout the world. Although they're seen as one of the planet's most feared man-eaters, they're actually really sophisticated and fascinating animals. White sharks have complex social hierarchies similar to wolf packs on occasion, and they communicate through a variety of body language. They can also live over 70 years and are one of the most intelligent fish in the world. But alas, with enough close interactions between these animals and humans, attacks are bound to happen. Great Whites have attacked a total of 354 people, 57 of which resulted in death. Great white attacks can be especially brutal because they tend to attack from below, meaning they have a tendency to hit the most vital parts of your body. You may have heard that great whites don't like the taste of human, and in a way you're right. They target marine mammals like seals and dolphins, animals that are blubbery, squishy, with lots of easy to digest meat. When a white shark test bites a human, they can tell our bone to meat ratio is way too high, and the amount of hard to digest bones they would have to consume just to get a little bit of meat just isn't worth it, so they usually don't continue on with the attack. But unfortunately, when a test bite is conducted by a mouth like that, it can lead to some serious issues. But if you ever needed extra motivation to get in shape, the fatter and more blubbery you are, the more likely a great white will find you delicious. So if it isn't the great white tiger or bull shark, what species has killed the most people? The one which according to Jacques Cousteau himself considered the most dangerous of all sharks. Well weirdly enough, it's a shark you likely don't have to worry about. You see, the sharks we've covered so far attack people because they tend to hang out where we hang out, in shallow water. Places where we surf, swim, and splash around at the beach. But you'll never find the world's deadliest shark anywhere near the coastline, and in fact, that's exactly the reason why it's killed the most people. The shark responsible for the most deaths in the world is the humble, oceanic white tip. From a physical standpoint, this shark isn't nearly as dangerous as the others. It rarely gets bigger than 10 feet, and its mouth isn't even that big compared to its body. But just because the other species could kill a human easier, doesn't mean that they do more often. It's the animals that encounter the most at-risk people that will kill the most. A principle you'll see again in my upcoming Deadly Snakes video. Why the oceanic white tip has killed more people than any other shark is because it's always the first shark on the scene when a tragedy in the open ocean occurs. In other words, shipwrecks and plane crashes. These horrible events are more likely to occur in deep water, far from any sort of land in most shark species. Except, of course, the oceanic white tip. With their massive wing-like fins, they glide through the open ocean, traveling far and wide to find any prey in this empty void. And sadly, that may include wreck victims. When the other species of shark attack, it's a one-and-done incident. One shark attacks one person, and it's over. But when there's hundreds of injured and bleeding people floating at sea, and an entire ocean of oceanic white tips, it can turn into a feeding frenzy. If you go onto the shark attack database, you'll see that there's only three official deaths caused by this species. And that's because with it being impossible to determine how many people were exactly killed by sharks and how many had simply drowned, it doesn't count attacks from wrecks. The incidents that have solidified this species as the world's deadliest both occurred during World War II. The first occurred in 1945 when the U.S. Indianapolis was torpedoed and out of the 1,196 men on board, only 316 survived. This was actually the tragic shark attack mentioned in that famous scene from Jaws. 
The second was when the RMS Nova Scotia was brought down by a German submarine, causing nearly a thousand people to end up in the water with only 192 surviving. Many of these people are believed to have fallen victim to white tips. Even though this shark is responsible for many human fatalities, the last thing we should do is demonize it. Because even though this species may very well be responsible for hundreds of deaths, humans are running white tips into extinction. This shark was once believed to be the most abundant animal over 100 pounds on Earth, but is now critically endangered due to the sick harvesting of them for shark fin soup. Their particularly massive fins are prized as an ingredient and are cut off while the poor shark is still alive and then tossed overboard. There's honestly nothing more disgusting than that, like it truly sickens me to my core that so many of them have died like this, all just to make some stupid soup. These sharks are simply animals, they aren't maliciously killing us, they're just trying to survive and only attack during freak incidents where humans are in an environment they shouldn't be in. It really is a hard situation to talk about because I just can't imagine how horrific and terrified those poor people were when they were in the water with those sharks. Like, I've read the accounts and it has to be one of the single worst things a group of people have ever been through. But surely these sharks don't deserve this, cruelly tortured and harvested to near extinction. They serve such an important role in the ocean ecosystem and it would truly be devastating to lose such a beautiful animal. Sharks shouldn't be hated or really even feared, but respected and admired. This video wasn't intended to make sharks seem scary, but to educate you guys on the main perpetrators of shark attacks so we can understand why these happen, and therefore understand sharks a little more. I'm so happy to live in a time where the love for sharks has never been higher, and I can't wait to work with them on future adventures. For more animal-related content like this, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.